guess what I found? Zanzibar. Yeah, you're not Tanzania, you're in Bahia, man. <laughs> Welcome to Zanzibar, baby. Woo! You know, in Zanzibar, they got the best beach ever. They have the best beach in here too. Let's check, go check it out, man. Hello. How are you? Sounds oh yeah, I said it baby. from Salvador Bahia it's a very beautiful shiny morning Sunday morning and listen as I'm on a journey to keep fit I have to come out this early morning to work out because listen working out in the coastline is one of the best thing to do and the fact that the people living in here are so big on exercising I just have to join them as we exercise along the coastline this morning it's beautiful man like look at that it's so beautiful the culture in here it's the same culture that we have in Africa everything that they do here it's similar of what we do in Africa especially Sunday morning exercises that if you live in Ghana if you live in Nigeria if you live in Sierra Leone if you, I mean West Africa in general Sunday morning is the time that a lot of people come on the street exercise and it's exactly the same way that happens in what is happening like everybody is on the street exercising everybody's on the street just doing all kind of exercises that keep them fit we are on the beach man and they are calling for a press up challenge how many are we going Whenever you go to the beaches right here in Salvador, Brazil in general, all you see is bikinis. So they sell bikinis just along the, I mean, the beach front. So you buy and you change yourself and enter, man. Because this is the only place, I mean, coming from Africa, going to beaches in Africa, especially countries like Ghana, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and the rest, you hardly see women wearing bikini on the beaches. But here, every single person, man, this is super cool. Oh, okay. That's all I know. Uh, obrigado. Obrigado. 
Ma tell her my name is Maya from Ghana. Yeah. Maya, what's, what's your name? My name is Sarah. So the Bahia. Bahia. But but the, we. Bahia. You know we look alike. You're just like my sister. Someone you want to see? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is he saying? He said, yeah, you are, you are, you are brother, you are sister. I'm very brother and sister. You got the same blood. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Have you been to Africa? Yeah. Africa. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to go to Africa? Africa. Oh, he said his parents are. He said all his parents are Africans. Really? Really? I thought you would say it's actually. He said our color is so beautiful. Oh. I wish I speak Portuguese, man, because I want I want to say a lot, but I don't know what to say. You can say for the Portuguese, man. No sabe falar Portuguese. Because she doesn't understand me. But she doesn't understand. And I don't understand her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the name? Yeah. What's the name? 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 Yeah. What do you know about Africa? What do you know about Africa? Well, I should... I can ask the social... I can ask the social... I can ask the social... Is it uh, the dance from Africa? You think the dance from Africa is perfect? It's like all of them, all they know about Africa is about our dance, man. Yeah. It's all always about... About our dance. So that's what we need to do. Tell her, tell her. It's like you, Moses, uh, but I say, Africa. So the uh, dance is okay. Porque é algo que a gente admira muito aqui. O molejo que tem. Yeah, we, are, we are so proud of you guys uh, with your dance and you know, your culture. Oh, yeah, our culture is unique. <laughs> Can you, can you send a message to your brothers and sisters in Africa? Que vocês continuem com esse sorriso lindo que vocês têm, independente de qualquer situação. <laughs> Growing up in Africa, I know that Brazilians are super big on beach football but the fact that the people playing football looks like me I mean if we should take this beach to somewhere in Sierra Leone you would definitely think that these are all Africans this is crazy man Woo. I, I now know why Brazilian soccer is one of the best in the world because it's being played by our own people man huh. I just wanted to know, you're from New York? Yeah, from Brooklyn, New York. You live here now? Yeah, 15 years. 15 years here in Salvador. Why Salvador? Ah, all the black people, bro. <laughs> and how does it feel living uh, in here? Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. What's I the difference it. between living in Salvador and living in the United States? Uh, shoot. It's way less dangerous. You know, I grew up in the projects, you know, uh, dangerous situations, and you know, the, don't have to deal with the, the U.S. White Americans, sorry for all the white people out there, but y'all know how y'all are. Uh, out here is just way better, man. I love it. Wow. And you're also like spending time with your own people. Yeah, exactly. Connecting, you know, here I get to meet a lot of people that come from the continent, different uh, different countries in Africa that I never would have met, that, you know, wouldn't have run into in the state. So to me, uh, Salvador is like the, the hub for the diaspora because in, in Africa, you got 54 countries to choose from. But in Brazil, you only got one city to come to. So everybody comes here, you know, so that's, that's why a, I love it here. That's a beautiful one, man. Yeah. Traveling is the best education ever. I feel like I don't need to read the books to know what's happening in different countries that I visit. Because I've been to Mozambique and Angola and this coastline is developed exact same way they've developed Angola and uh, Mozambique. And when you go to Mozambique, 
On this stretch of the coastline, you see that they are selling the same sugarcane juice right on the stretch of Mozambique, man. That's like what he's doing. If you got, I know, if you're from Mozambique, just let me know in the comment section that if you guys don't have this, exactly the same thing. And on the same stretch in Mozambique, you could see people selling coconut juice just like what they are doing in here the similarities is super crazy i don't know if because of um all of them are portuguese speaking countries that's why they got a lot in common but yo super crazy man I feel so excited to see my brothers and sisters from Africa, but never been to Africa, but from Bahia. Ah, que top! Seja bem-vindo. Is that that that's so nice? Welcome. Obrigado. Ah, <laughs> that's all. That's all I know, man. But what, what did they know about Africa? Boa, então. Ele poderia ter sido para algo para a gente, porque a África, quando a gente escuta falar, a denominação é da questão da, da fome, uhum. da, da dificuldade de um trabalho, uhum. de uma vida estável. Mas assim, que também é um povo guerreiro, uhum. um povo muito alegre. Yeah, yeah he's saying that, you know, whatever they heard from Africa is the bad side of the, what they said. People are the poverty, the hungriness, the sadness, but they know that they are, uh, they are people who are very strong, hardworking, they're very uh, warriors. They tell yeah. him that if, if, if his ancestors yeah. were able to make it to Bahia yeah. despite all the struggle, it yeah. means that being a black man yeah. is full of resilience. <laughs> and they shouldn't believe in all the lies that they've been told about Africa. Yeah. Africa is the most beautiful continent in the whole world. Yeah, Africa is the most lindo na mundo. Ah, mais top. alegre no mundo. Ah, mas alegria a gente consegue ver, porque a gente vê vidas, né, de pessoas alegres dançando, yeah. representando. Yeah. Então, was... Somos negros, transpiramos isso, né? É. Yeah, I was telling him that, you know, Africa is the happiest country in the world. And he said, yeah, they have seen it in the music, they have seen it with exactly. their dance, and you know, so they know that Africa is one of the happiest countries in the world. Would they ever want to go to Africa? Was it uh, your son you were going to Africa? Ah, yes. Yeah, it's the, uh, the, it, it's their biggest view. As praias de nossa mundas. Yeah, it's the... the, the, the videos, right? Yeah, it's the... They have seen the beaches there. Ah, beaches yeah, exactly. We've got the best beaches, man. Which, can, which country in Africa that they would love to go? What place in Africa would say? Would say, but I'm up there for a visit there. Ah, não tem um específico, não. Só entrar na África, conhecer yeah. o lugar, para mim, seria de yeah. satisfação. Yeah, they said they don't have any Pacific country, but for them to enter into Africa and have that feeling of being in Africa, have that energy, it's okay for them. Africans love you guys, man. We also love Africa. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Obrigado. Okay. Okay. That's all I know. Okay, much obrigado. Okay, thank you. No, you know, like, one of the things that I really love about exploring the Salvador by here is the fact that when you meet your fellow black man, he's so excited about the continent. He really want to visit Africa. He really want to, I mean, go or touch the soil of the motherland because they've heard a lot about Africa even though they've been fed with the lies the same way we're living in Africa has been fed with the lies about our brothers and sisters in living this part of the world because at the end of the day when I came in here everybody was like oh don't go to the black neighborhood it's so dangerous I was there and I never felt like my life was threatened or anywhere I was with there with my cameras and everything Me, the places that people say is don't go that's where I go because I believe that there is always two sides of a coin since i came in here you will always see tanker car like this cleaning the roads man i mean cleaning the pavement cleaning the street you will also see people like him always cleaning the beach every single morning man like you know, this is the second most popular tourist destination in the entire country after Rio de Janeiro. 
so they keep it so clean for tourists. I mean, this is what tourism is all about. When you keep your city clean, if you keep your country clean, that's when people keep on coming. And it brings a lot of investment into the country. And the investment helps boost the economy of the country. Because everywhere I go, like every beach that I go in Salvador Bahia is super cool. Where I am is called Barra. And the beach at the Barra is always full since I came in here. And it's so full of tourists. And that's why the last time I had to go to a beach that is not touristic. So it, 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 it's really like amazing. I just want to give a big props to um, the, the city council of um, Salvador Bahia for always making sure that the city is so clean and fresh. See? There are dustbins everywhere in the city. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm saying. Um, there are dustbins everywhere. You see? Let me show you guys, man. Dustbins everywhere in the city. See? That's a dustbin right here. So when you are done with what you're doing, you just put it right in here. And this is a coastline that they've developed the entire stretch of the coastline so that people can walk, jog, food, uh, what do you call it, restaurant, across. So after eating, if you want to exercise, you can come and exercise. People walk with their dogs. Why everyone has a dog in this country though? And this is quite interesting. I remember back in the days in China where um, you have to use an app to rent a bicycle, I, I think we need something like this in Ghana. I really love to take this concept to uh, concept to Ghana because you know not all of us want to uh, ride motorbike because I feel like it's so unsafe to ride motorbike. So and not all of us can afford bicycle. Not all of us can afford to buy bicycle. So if you can't afford to buy a bicycle, you can easily, I mean, rent one of these, and then yeah. Drop it at your next destination and it's good to go. One thing that I really love about this whole area, I mean, people are saying Brazil is not safe, people are saying that's not one of the safest places to be, but I have felt safe since I came in here. And I'm not even gonna lie about it. I've been to um, the most dangerous neighborhood in this place and I, I still felt safe, yeah? So yeah, your experience might be different, but my experience, trust me, I feel okay. If anything happens to me, I'll come in here and tell you guys. coastline that I've ever seen uh, apart from being in Somali this is the country with one of the longest stretch because we've been driving kilometers man and still we're driving al along the coastline and it's exciting to see the beautiful beaches that they got in here and where I am it's called Sao Tome. San Tome. Oh San Tome. Tome yeah. So it's San Tome and Principe which is a country in Africa. Yes which were also colonized by the Portuguese. This is so cool, man. So we are in Africa, inside Africa. Yeah, when you just go right here, it's Africa. Just to put, that's why they, even the transit of the slave were easy. Because there is nothing in the middle of this side to the other side, only water. Exactly. So Africa is right here. Africa is right here, man. Yeah, man. And it's exciting to see that almost everyone at this beach is an African. I, it seems like they want to say hello. I've seen the guy want to say hello. I know you want to say hello. Hola, tutu bang. Tutu bang. Hey. Laser. Where, you 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 from here? Yeah, yeah. Tutu bang. Tutu bang. Botaji. Nice to meet you. Me to Brazil. Love from Africa to you, man. Me to Amor from Africa, Provo says. Obrigado, Brazil. Desculpa qualquer coisa. Brazil é bom, man. Valeu. The, the economy that involves it is the, is, the, is the most excited thing, brother. They are big, 
beach, without beach, these people might be more hunger. For the money that beach brings, even the poor people that don't have money can still go to the beach. They take their own food, their own drink from the house, wow. and come and sit down here. Come and sit and eat. And enjoy. So beach is very important in their lives. Very, very. It's part of the quality of life. You know? so good immersing myself in the Atlantic Ocean at the other side of the world this is Sao Tome I mean I'm not talking about a Sao Tome in Africa I'm talking about Sao Tome in Brazil this whole area is called Sao Tome Principe it's found along the coastline in Salvador the blackest city out of Africa I mean the African city within Brazil like literally everyone around me is black everyone around me looks like me everyone Look. around me Look. is black <laughs> everyone around me looks, looks like black. <laughs> this is so cool man i feel like the water is so calm out here because this is my first time you know going in the ocean like this man I, I, I'm in the middle of the ocean. It's on the middle, it's on your leg. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the ocean, bro. You know why? Because the water is so calm. <laughs> Brazil is giving me one of my best experiences ever, man. I love it. I love it. What is this new part? Mm. Actually, it's called Fragio Batata. Frita. <laughs> Peixe frito. Peixe frito, that's fried fish. So these are the compliments. We have salad here. And we have the fried potatoes. We have gari. And we have the beans. Wow. So this is the real African diaspora fish food. Hey, it's time to say goodbye to Sao Tome. Um, this is actually a local beach, so no tourists in here. All the people that you see around here live closer to this place. It seems you want to say hello to me. Hi, how are you? <laughs> nice, good to see my own people, man. That's amazing. Hey, hello, hello. Hi. Tutu bang. Tutu bang. Good to see you. Yeah, African. Africanism. Africa, Africa, Africa. Africa. What's up, man? Africa, Africa, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you know, Africa unites. Wow. He said Africa unite. Yeah, man, African brother. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, brother. How are you? Good? <laughs> you speak English? Fuck oh, you. <laughs> All right. So you speak English? Just a little, a little bit. And it's crazy, man. Like everyone around us. What's up, man? Nice to see you, man. You look, you look, you look like me, bro. Okay. Hello, hello, sir. 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 Hello, hello, these people don't joke with their beach, man. No, yeah. They, everyone takes advantage of the beach. People are here chilling. Wow. That's a wife of.
of a Jamaican man. I love it. I love it. Yeah. The people are happy, they are amazing, and they look like me.